But what a top three two so far. We've had some very interesting stats. Yeah. Uh, B bats. I wanted to mention. I believe attended his second ever um, IRL tournament this week. Yeah. And, uh, and, he, and he placed, I think, fourth or something. So. Something like that. It's definitely interesting too, seeing folks like B bats, you know, getting the in-person melee experience. Too. And uh, RTO, one of the TOs just confirmed it was last night actually, too. Yeah, okay. That's so, you know, very neat to see B Bats now gaining some exposure to with the in person melee community right now as we got a bit of. Yeah. Technical it's probably on, on, on their side as well because they, they went apart. And that will do it, B Bats. One Nair is all he needs. Indeed, indeed. Uh, Fox Peach, uh, what, what are you looking for out of this matchup? Uh, well, on this starter stage, I mean, it's very common to see Foxes playing a bit more defensive, uh, using the the length of the stage to shoot the gun a bit. Keep Peach out because she's a slow, she's a lot slower than he is, and stuff like that. But uh, also looking for on the Peach's side to not get hit by stuff like up throw up air. You can always air dodge or double jump out of it. Um, and uh, stuff like SDIing wave shines. What? And D2. I mean, B Bats has definitely made the most of stock. That is a stock well lived, wouldn't you say? Living until yep. 170. Yeah, taking two stocks and putting on a little bit of anti crash oh. control percent. Yeah, that was a dot eyes. That almost hit Dan there too, but I mean, it just seems like all the favorable trades are going PBS favor right now. He seems very comfortable. Oh, I like that Z drop too. Mm -hmm. Give me the stock. Good nice tech. tech. Okay, up tilt, not gonna get punished. It seems, oh like Dan, it seems like Dan just can't find his footing right now. Yeah, not seeing too many. Oh, nice, nice. Not seeing too many like big openings from him at this point in the set. Yeah, not really. It's like, you know, maybe like a small... It's like, B-Bats is getting 50% out of almost all their punishes. Whereas, oh my gosh. Yeah. Dan's only getting... Oh, like did he even land? No, he I, didn't. No, he man. didn't. Jeez. Wow. Disruptive three stock for game one. Uh, we're going to have to see how Dan can play on a different stage. Maybe... Uh, maybe Yoshi's or something. I can I can imagine. I would anticipate b -Bat. Bats banning stadium, but it could be one or the other. I think really is like with the game that decisive and convincing. Mm -hmm. I think really I don't think a stage matters too much. Is more right. so you should consider just just finding your footing because it just seems yeah. like it just seemed like B Bats really just like from the get go was just like a multiple steps ahead of Den right now. So I think if you're Den, don't even think about stage right now. Think about finding just like what you want to do you know i think it may be one neutral interaction at a time or one stock at a time too and that's definitely why i think mm -hmm. these happen as we're gonna get into game two on battlefield interesting counter pick coming out battlefield um i mean yeah, would you I'm say sure. story was the ban uh yeah maybe and but i feel like stadium is in my personal non-fox and non-peach playing opinion i think stadium is the best stage for fox uh, then followed by Yoshi's maybe, but uh, Den definitely knows more than me, so and he gets the first stock too. So. That's already a much better start than it was before. Absolutely. He had, he had dropped two stocks in game one, so yeah. already you know that's what you want too. You know, you just start out like see how B Bats plays from behind now. Yep. Okay, there's a wave shine. He cuts it off early after just one and goes for up smash. Rather than trying to take him all the way across the stage, yeah, this is pretty good percentage. I can do. Oh, gets jumped. caught there. Yeah, the very last hit of down smash he jumped into. The ceiling fan, as they call it, as they would say, <laughs> the ceiling fan. That's really funny. I've actually never heard that. That's great. <laughs> oh, shout out to Ryan Ford for that same right now. But I mean, B Bats quickly even it up and is now increasing oh, the lead. Turnip Nair. Yeah, taking that stop quite early. Yeah, Ouch. oh man. 50% already. What is he going to do? That was not a ceiling throw. That was a grinder. But either way, I mean, it just seems like D-Bats is looking a lot like game one right now. Yeah. 
Oh my god, Shine clanking with the very first hit. Oh, Dan's over pursuing too. That's another yeah, thing. Yeah, he's jumping into these down airs. Yeah, and that's, I mean, that's exactly what D-Bats wants, really. Jones mm -hmm. is like, come to me right now because I'm going to take these trades. Yeah. Yeah, Peach with a lead, very comfortable for sure. Uh, Peach, one of the characters in the game most known for trading. So you can just do that for a whole stock. Maybe die first, come back there. They're sitting at like 120 and you can be pretty comfortable. Yeah, even though it's two stocks to one right now and Den's definitely made it a lot more respectable, it still feels yeah. it still feels firmly in B-Bat's favor right now. And that's and probably wanna, the set. Yeah, I want to highlight that air dodge yeah. up that B-Bat's did out of uh, Den's attempt to up their up air. Definitely something that like newer age peaches are doing almost every time Fox up throws them. Uh, definitely not a guaranteed combo by any means.